Intensifying competition between the United States and China is the backdrop for what's billed as Asia's premier defense summit. But that's not all that's up for discussion at the Shangri-La Dialogue here in Singapore, the first one since the pandemic. From maritime disputes to the Myanmar crisis, the current environment is quite complex. CNA's Leong Wai Kit has more. Myanmar's military coup and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. These two major crises dominated headlines at times, overshadowing other pressing security challenges in the region. But they're expected to come to the fore again at the Shangri-La Dialogue. The issue of overlapping territorial claims in the South China Sea could surface at the Shangri-La Dialogue. China and ASEAN claimant states had met here in Cambodia in May to resume face-to-face -face talks on a code of conduct in the disputed area. Now that is a significant step forward given that in the last two years, progress was stalled due to the pandemic. The target was for the code of conduct to be concluded this year. But some analysts aren't hopeful that there'll be progress. I think most ASEAN member states don't see the code of conduct negotiations as likely to lead to an agreement in the end unless there are big changes, structural changes, to how China approaches this region. Uh, and so in the interim, the negotiations are a platform for dialogue. Top defense officials from both China and the U.S. are slated to attend the dialogue. Both powers are wrestling for maritime presence, with Washington announcing plans to pump in $60 million to boost maritime security in the region in May. The U.S. also has a pact with the U.K. to help Australia acquire nuclear-powered submarine capability. So given this commitment, given the uh, expected deployments of more American vessels to this region, uh, I think China will be on a, a more heightened alert, a more heightened footing. Uh, and I think they will be also increasing their presence in this region. He says the tensions between China and the U.S. could play out at the dialogue. The U.S. administration, I think, is going to use this dialogue. Uh, they are very keen to send a message that Washington remains uh, committed to this region. From China's point of view, I think they are going to be doubling down on their messaging that uh, these conflicts that are ongoing in this part of the world are Asian conflicts. It should be solved between Asian countries. Organizer Davalai Davales hopes the three-day dialogue will provide an opportunity for parties to discuss their differences and reduce tensions in future. Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will be giving the keynote address. Leung Waikit, CNA, Phnom Penh, Cambodia.